All right, and welcome back, guys. There is one side Easter egg left in Forsaken for us to cover that has so far been discovered, and this is the Sharpshooter Easter egg. Honestly, I really like Easter eggs like this. It's pretty much an expanded version of the Mawarder Toten one, and this upgrade allows you to upgrade different weapons depending on which Sharpshooter Easter egg you're doing. Right now, there have been three discovered, and I've been kind of waiting to make this video because I always thought there was going to be a couple more discovered, but I have scoured this entire map. I've not been able to find one, and it's been a couple days now, and no one else in the community has. So we're going to show you all these and these are pretty helpful depending on what weapon class you're using you can upgrade the tyranny of your weapon which is like a thousand blue salvage of value if you go ahead get it purple tier which is the epic tier and then do this easter egg for the different weapons it will allow you to get the orange tier completely for free which usually costs a ton of salvage so we're gonna go ahead show each one of these step by step while i'm getting set up if you're new here want to sub i would greatly appreciate that and on top of that i give a massive thanks if you like comment and watch this video in its entirety also gonna have a full playlist linked below with every single guide and everything we covered for forsaken so far all right and with that being said let's go ahead and go to the very first location note this is actually a lot harder than the mauer to totem version i have failed quite a few times with this and it's taken me a while to actually get these down so unless you really want to dedicate time for this honestly i'm not sure this easter egg specifically worth it but uh we'll go ahead show the smg version first i'm gonna buy this off the wall if you're gonna do this easter egg you definitely want to make sure that you have a purple tier weapon to make the most out of it the thing about this is is for this one right here since there are targets that you have to go through in here the blueprint doesn't even spawn in until you open the door so now that we've opened the door you can see this blueprint spawned in you have to pick it up with the smg it's not gonna let you pick it up with any other weapon if it's not an smg all right here we go only a few zombies left in this round let's go ahead and pick it up the pretty much the first one's always gonna spawn here but the order Order on these do change so we're gonna wait for some more to spawn in and you do kind of have to have audio on for some audio cues because you can hear when they spawn in and it's also going to give you a little noise notification telling you when you need to move to the next area to find the next set of targets like right there get that one Oh, and there we go. So that is the first one done. Our SMG went from red tier to blue tier. And unlike Mauer or Toten, it doesn't spawn in an ether tool. You don't get to choose what weapon. You can't do it with the SMG and then pick it up with another weapon. It's only going to apply to the SMG you have. It directly upgrades it. Now we're going to go through this portal. And the next challenge right here is going to be the sniper one. And this is hands down the hardest one out of all of them. This one I struggle with quite a bit and we're probably gonna have to do it a few different times in the video. So as soon as I pick it up, I look for the lights here and that's kind of your notification. Kind of zoom out, wait to see the lights, but there is a lot of targets you have to hit. And um, yeah, I fail this one quite often. So let's see if we can get it done for the video here without having to make a jump cut to the next one. Oh crap, where did it spawn in at? Right up there on top, there we go. But yeah, I almost always zoom out for these because that light is the biggest notification of where it's going to be at. Wait for it. I don't think there's any spawned in right now. Yep, right. There's the next one. There's the next one. And there we go. First try for the sniper. And once again, it's going to upgrade it going from the red tier to the green tier. And now I'm realizing this was green and went to blue. So uh, forgive me for that. Now I've got to go ahead and get a pistol. So since I don't have a pistol, I'm going to head back to spawn and then I'll be right back in a second. All right, pick us up a handy dandy M1911 from spawn. All right, now here we are back with a pistol. The third location for the pistol blueprint is going to be right here. And this, in my opinion, is the easiest out of the three. Essentially, you're looking for the target spawning in here and they're not going to move around too much. There's not much variations for this, which is cool because the pistol's actually the... Um, wait, where, okay, there we go. Sometimes I freak out when there's not one spawned in and I'm like, oh, am I missing one? But no, there just isn't any spawned in yet. But uh, the pistol class is the best class in Cold War Zombies right now. Legitimately, the four best weapons in this game are pistols. The single best weapon in the game is the Damati. Second best being the Amp, then the, um, the Magnums, then the M1911. And so the fact that this one's the easiest one is actually super helpful because more than likely if you're high rounding and you're not using a wonder weapon, you're going to be using a pistol. And there we go. Just upgraded the M1911 and that is all three of them. Honestly, um, unless you just want to do this for fun, there's really not much reason to do this for the snipers and the SMGs. It's going to be easier just to get it. But for the pistol class, if you're high rounding and going to be using, you know, one of the meta weapons like the amp, the magnums, the Damatis, this is super helpful for you to get it like 
purple tier go and do this easter egg get an orange tier i pretty much never fail this one whereas i do sometimes fail the smg one and i sometimes fail the sniper one but with that we're gonna go ahead and end this here and i am gonna leave in the comments if any more of these are discovered i'll probably make an additional video and i'll leave it in the comments below but as of right now these are the only three we've got the sniper the smg and the pistol and it makes sense to me that there is gonna be an ar one but uh, I've scoured this map and it's been a few days since the maps came out yet. No one's found any sort of AR start location or anything like that. So unless it's super duper hidden, these are the only three that stand in the game right now. But with that, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.